You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. I jumped Jacob today at the shoot-around. I normally don't do that at shoot-around. Tom was there, so Tom knows. What I, because he was like two for 11. You can't go through a shoot-around and go two for 11 because now your mentality is you're not making shots in the game. He does yell at everybody, right? All right. <laughs> we know how that, that turned out. Toppin had 13 points, five of nine from the floor, even hit one from deep. No two for 11 night for him. And, of course, the Tom that Coach Cal was referring to, the voice of the Wildcats, Tom Leach, who is joining us now. Tom, good to see you. Hey, guys. All right. You know what else you were close for? Uh, Coach Cal's up close and personal moment with one of the refs, which quickly became a <laughs> meme during the game. Uh, tell us about that and what you saw. Actually, uh, I didn't uh, see a lot of it. I, I did. I saw the, the picture afterward with more than I actually saw in real time. So I think, you know, on iPhones, you can put one iPhone next to the other one and it's an airdrop. I think that's what Cal was doing. Yep. <laughs> Airdropping what he wanted called. <laughs> Oh, man, that's hysterical. And I like how Cal was talking about it after, and he said, Pat actually charged me. Yeah. It wasn't It wasn't the other way around. But another <laughs> unbelievable moment, Kellen Grady's no-look three. Mints with the assist right to Grady's hip. No worries, he still got the shot up, and it went in. Listen to what Grady said about that insane moment after the game. I went from getting screamed at to getting applauded um, within about, one and a, about a second and a half. So... I don't know, it, it hit me, and I, I, they didn't steal it, thankfully, and then I just realized I was wide open, so I let it go. Tom, when you're feeling it, you're feeling it. And Kellen Grady was absolutely feeling it on Saturday. Yeah, maybe fate uh, smiled on Kentucky on Saturday after it kicked Kentucky in the gut with uh, taking Wheeler and Washington out of the game because you had not only that play for Kellen, where uh, I asked Cal afterward about that new play he drew up where Kellen looks like he doesn't know the pass is coming. <laughs> and lets it hit him in the hip. But you also had Jacob Toppin banking in a three about a half second before the shot clock goes off. And Davian Mintz doing that on the other side of the court from about 15 feet out, again, about a half second before the shot clock went off. So uh, they were in some kind of zone in that game. Yeah, that, those uh, two new plays, I, I think, uh, helped out. You know, keeps the defense honest. Trick plays. Uh, earlier this season, we've seen Kentucky struggle when all of its pieces weren't available. That wasn't the case on Saturday. Tom, take a listen to this one. We played the game a little different today. If you could imagine, we had two practices to put a game plan together that was different than we normally would play. We ground it out. That's how we played today and still scored 91 points. But I felt that's how we were going to have to play with a short roster. When you look at the minutes played in this, when all five starters had 36 or more, no one else had more than a couple. When you're shorthanded, you need big games from the guys who are available, and Kentucky got that from all five starters. Tom, does it boost your confidence to see these guys get it done so shorthanded? Oh, sure. I mean, that was a, a tremendous performance for guys coming together. There was a, a bite I saw from Kellen Grady after the game where he talked about just how meaningful that win was for him given the adversity. I think it was that way for the fans. I think the fans sensed that they could be uh, impactful in that game, and they certainly were. So everybody brought it uh, on Saturday uh, in a uh, situation where there was a, a, a tremendous amount of adversity in the form of those two point guards who were out of the game. So, um, yeah, it was just – it was a really fun – fun game to uh, for me to call for Mike and I to call and just to be a part of it I know Keith you talked earlier about uh, it sounded like the roof was about to come off rough when uh, Grady hit that three near the end of the first half and um, you know to put Kellen Grady at the point for much of the day that's one thing about Kellen is we all would love to see him get as many shots as possible and sometimes the other guys deny him opportunities well if you just have the ball in his hands from the start they can't keep it from getting to him <laughs> All right, Tom, real quick before we let you go, several reports are out now about Liam Cohen taking the Rams offensive coordinator job. We probably won't hear about a definitive replacement right away, but the Cats will need to move quickly with spring ball right around the corner. Is there any particular direction you think Mark Stoops is going to go with this hire? I would think it would be in the same direction that he went with the last one. It worked out really well. I would suspect when um, Mark 
went a little outside the box with this hire going to uh, get a guy out of the NFL rather than the college ranks that he probably had an idea if it worked as well as he hoped that it would that he wouldn't have Liam Cohen for long you know you get into the you know if you breathe the same air as Sean McVay you get to be a head coach and so uh Liam Cohen if he takes this job could be on the fast track to being an NFL head coach so you understand why he uh, would take it if if offered but I would imagine Mark would have uh, suspected that day would be coming sooner rather than later and would uh, already have an idea of you know uh, guys that would be on his short list so to speak but I don't think they would change directions all right Tom thank you so much sure all right, the postseason is in full swing for the winter sports, but things are just heating up for the spring programs. We have the latest on all the Wildcats next.